Hey guys, Cody Baramani here with the Eastwood Company. Today, we're talking about the 7x12 Mini Lathe. We got this thing set up here in my home shop, and we're going to make some spacers. We're going to get rid of the stack of washers that you got all over your projects. And now we'll end up with some nice clean, either aluminum or steel spacers. They'll be machined to just the right size. They're going to look great, and they're going to get the job done a lot better. Alright, so one thing I do want to preface this video with is that I'm not a professional machinist. I know a lot of you guys use tools like this day in and day out and make a living doing it. I'm just a little hobbyist here. I'm still learning. I still got years and years and hours of experience that I need to get. But today we're going to make this simple project. All right, guys, so the plane is a start with this nice chunk of aluminum. We found that in scrapping and R&D. We're going to make ourselves a nice finished spacer like this. It's going to be a slightly different size. We're going to go for Something that's inch and a quarter. We're gonna go 700 on the OD, and then for our four, we're gonna do a three eighths. Be pretty straightforward. Be pretty easy. Now, before we chuck it in the lathe, one thing we did, we hit it quick with the hacksaw. We got that end off. Now we're at about an inch and a half in length. It should make it a little easier to get down to our inch and a quarter final length. All right, so we've got a raw material here. Like I said, we did cut it down. So we've got about an inch and a half in length. We're at three quarter, our outer diameter. First, we're gonna chuck this up like this, clean up this face from the saw cut. All right, so now in order to get this machine started, you actually have to lower the guard, that's to keep you safe. You have to pick your direction, and you have to make sure this emergency stop is open. If you close that, it's going to shut itself off, and then it'll fall. If you try and turn it on, it won't turn on with the guard down. If you leave it in that on position, it'll also fall. So there is a specific way to get this machine going. Let's get going. So we're just going to come, kind of face the edge of that. Not looking to take off a lot of material here, just looking to get a good starting point. There we go. So we've got a nice flat face there that we're actually going to be able to do our boring operation. I'm going to do that next. So here's a close-up of where we're at so far. We faced the material and now we've put our center drill and got a pour started. Now we're going to come back with our 3H drill bit. I'm trying to give you guys a good close-up. I know, I should have cutting fluid. Well, I don't. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got that boring complete, we're going to come back, we're going to get this thing to the right outer diameter and the right length. So knowing we've got about three quarters of an inch to work with, we're going to end up taking about 25 thousandths depth of cut. We're going to do that over two cuts, try and get it as clean as possible, and then we'll flip this part, cut the other side. So 
So we're going to come in here. We're just going to touch the surface with the tool, back off. That's going to give us a good spot to zero in. Advanced in. Let's go 10,000s. All right, everything looks good, so we're going to keep on cutting and remove some more material. Here we can also use our power feed and allow this to keep going on its own. That's going to give you a little bit better of a surface finish, be a little more consistent. So now we're looking to go down to 700 thousandths. So I'm just going to check every cut. You don't have to necessarily check every cut. Just so I got an idea of where we're going. I'd like to. All right, so we're down at 7:30. That's good. That's good. Seven oh one. Ooh, did I get lucky? All right, so we're right around 700 thousandths. So now what we are gonna do, we're gonna flip it, we're gonna try and get there as well, and we'll see how good we get by trying to meet in the middle. I think we can call that pretty good. So there we go. We've got our outer diameter. We've got our inner diameter. Now all we have to do is get this thing to length, clean up these faces, probably add some chamfers there, call it done. So we've rounded those edges. Let's take a measurement and then we'll start taking some pieces off of it. Start taking some length off of this. 1.449 and we got to come down to inch and a quarter. So I'm going to actually mark, just give myself a little scribe line there as a reference. I should be able to see that. That'll help me just kind of get closer to the final line. So you guys may not be able to see that. But I do have a scribe line. I'm actually going to be able to see that while it's rotating. That's going to give me a good judge of where I need to be. Alright, so there's my rough scribe line. I've now got a good line that I can come back and make quick facing cuts. Get to that. All right, so we've got eight and a half thousandths to go. Now remember, I mean, this is just a spacer. It doesn't have to be dead on, but we're gonna try and get there and be as close as we can. To do that, we're actually gonna use the compound slide 
and just come, because we actually have a vernier over there, we'll be able to come right up, we'll be able to make a precise cut. All right, so we're gonna take this compound, we'll bring it up to the surface, now we'll be able to adjust, get the zeroed out. Unless we're taking out any backlash that may be there. Now we can come off. And then we're gonna come in, eight thousand. Within five thousands, I think we'll call it pretty good. I actually don't think these calipers are very good. Just above our three seven five that we were shooting for. That's because we used a drill bit. Now, if we did ream this to exactly the correct diameter, that would give us a tighter fit. That's going to be nice on a bolt. I think this came out pretty good. It's pretty quick and easy to do. All right, guys. So as you can see, in just a few quick minutes. We're able to make a really nice spacer that definitely replaces that stack of washers. This lathe is perfect for small projects like this. You can do them in aluminum, you can do it in steel. It will take a little longer with steel because you're going to have to make some shallower depths of cut. But then you can also do stuff with nylon. This is great for prototyping, for any small parts. In another video, we're actually going to make a bushing for a foot peg for an old motorcycle. So stay tuned, and for more information about this lathe or any other tool we may sell, visit eastwood.com.